This is Derek Hayes here live with an exclusive Derek interview with author and playwright Shanae Green Dardell. How you doing today? I'm doing awesome. How are you? All right, all right. I'm excited. I like to write. So tell me and tell us a little bit about your plays and your book. Okay. Well, my first book is Keeping It Tight. And this book is about a, a relationship triangle. It has three people who have all been through bad things. And then a good relationship comes out of it. Well, one of them is so you know, obsessed with the people that she can't allow them to have a good relationship. And it's a, a relationship drama, and all of my book stories and even my plays are about drama, just a basic, basic uh, I like to talk about the intricacies, the problems that the, that people deal with in relationships. And so that, that comes out of Keeping It Tight, Secrets of a Kept Woman, the play, and also all of my erotica novels. So you're a relationship girl. Yes. Kind of. I don't know how it came to be that, but that's what's coming of it. So the girl is giving up the real uniqueness of love. Yes. The girl no. of love. <laughs> keeping I like it that. tight. I like that. Keeping it tight. So if, it, if, if it's a kept woman, then she will be tight, right? That's right. She hey, better be. It huh? <laughs> so is there a website that people can reach you at? Yeah, they can go to my website, www.nayberrypublications.com. And on there, they'll find out uh, about me, something about the books and the plays. Actually, I have uh, several plays that are coming up uh, this year and next year. And I'm even working on a small fest here at the Liberty okay. Theater. Okay. You, so, you said Nayberry, N-A-Y? Yeah, N-A-Y. B-E-R-R-Y? Yes. Dot com? Just like Mayberry okay. with Andy I mean, Griffith, but Nayberry. I wanted to, I had to bring it back because sometimes people might. Think you're saying something else. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make sure they contact. That's right. It's okay. Nayberry Publications. Nayberrypublications.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, Nayberrypublications.com. That's right. Now, the D in my name is for dream. You're writing all these plays, you're writing all these books. What is, what is your dream? My dream is just basically, I, I feel like the first part of my dream has been accomplished. My dream is to just tell my story and get it out to where people can see and appreciate it. Um, where people can take something away from what I write and even if it just reach one person to make their life better in any kind of way That's my dream uh, Of course everybody want to see you know themselves take up to the next level next level So what I would eventually like to see is that my play is going on the road and uh, on a consistent basis We'll be able to present them. Okay. Okay. The E is for education and what you do. How important is education? Education is so important. Now, I went to high school, graduated high school, I went to college and didn't finish. And so I can see, you know, some of my friends who finished college and how more progressive things seem to be working out for them. And I can just see the importance of education. When you go and apply for a job, all the good jobs, they get $100,000 a year, you know, they have some education attached to them. So my, my thing that I would tell anyone, even if you don't want to go to college and finish like a, a degree and master's degree and, and doctor degree. You at least have to get a certificate in something. You have right. to master something. So education is very important. And I just, you know, I urge all the young kids, anybody coming along to, to do that. So, so and what you do, do you study the other playwrights or the other authors? Yeah, I study playwrights. Actually, I study what I'm doing and make sure that, you know, I don't just put something out the first time, okay. you know, the first write and say, okay, this is good enough. Right. I keep... Right. As, as the years go by, as time goes by, I, I'm always going back and reevaluating okay. how yeah, I can yeah. do things better. I learned some a other, lot. Some other playwrights out there didn't even know the importance. You can't right. just show up, oh, I, I got a play. No, yeah. no, Most you can't. Most people think that, though. <laughs> it's not like right, that. Right, right. It, it really, a lot of people do think that they could just, they, they watch you do it, um, and that they could just jump out there and do it on their own. You got to take some time to plan, and, and definitely... Uh, you have to have some kind of understanding of what's going on because it's not just about writing. It's also right. like a business side that comes out a lot. Right, right. So, okay, okay. Um, basically, I would just say educate yourself on writing techniques. Um, read a lot of stories. Read a lot of scripts and things of that nature to make sure that you understand not only how write, the writing process works, but what's good and what's not. Okay, you know? okay. And this Derek, Derek interview, this exclusive Derek interview, with Shanae, we right here in the offices at the Liberty Theater, Cultural District in Columbus, Georgia. That's right. The R is for a resource. What resource does Shanae bring to the table that makes you stand out or unique? I think the, the biggest resource that I have is being resourceful. Just okay. basically um, being able to take something from nothing, 
you know, not having the finances, not having backers, not having um, a, a lot of, well, I have community support, but not having like a big fan base right, to right. start with. Right. And, and taking that and just one by one making it grow into something bigger. So uh, being a resource in that way means that I, I'm able to take those steps even though I don't have all the things in place right, to right. start moving my feet. So I right. think that's a resource in and of right. itself. You don't, you don't worry about what you don't have. You, that's you right. You get to, you know, use what you what you have to, to get, get to what, what you, you need. need. Right, right. And that's a resource. Right. The <laughs> next off for ready. When did you know you're ready to write a book? When did you know you're ready to write a play? Well, I got a challenge back in 2010 from a friend. And she was like, why don't you write a story since you're always reading? And I was like, you know what? I'll try. And I went out and I bought me and her both like briefcases, notebooks, things like that to write with, and I started. And you know, you start things sometimes when you think, well, you know, we'll just see how this goes. Yeah. I knew I was ready when that story wouldn't leave me alone. It okay. just, I wake up in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, and, I, and I'm writing. I go to bed, right before I go to bed, jump back up and start writing again. So I knew that once that story had took over me, that it was some, this was something that I really would enjoy, and this is something that I really was ready for. Okay, okay. The I in my name is for individual. Name at least one individual in your network that others should learn more about and why. I think more people should learn about um, Shay Anderson here at the Liberty Theater okay. because she has come on and to be a part of this theater to basically help it grow and, and make sure that it stays a viable part of the Liberty District. And so I think people should, you know, become engaged in what she's doing here and the work that she's doing here along with, with her father and mother here at the theater. Okay, so really okay. It's, a, it's a great place because a few weeks ago, my daughter participated in the Hip Hop Summit. Okay. That was here at the uh, Liberty Theater. So mm -hmm. The C is for challenges. What are some challenges that you face? Oh, wow. <laughs> Can I get just one? Just one? You can get one. You get more than one. Don't challenges. Sure challenges are, they're, they're, they're huge. I think the biggest challenge that I'm faced with, and it's, it's the most disheartening one, is dealing with people in the community. Just um, how people can seem to be supportive, but at the same time undermine and, and kind of be destructive to your dream. And so the biggest challenge is keeping those people at spoon length, making sure you don't allow them right. in your circle, in your, in your space, so that um, you can stay on your path to success as you're supposed to be, you know, but people, that's my biggest challenge, I guess the thing that I, if I could give a big workshop about it would be how to stay moving in a, a, a place and time where people are constantly trying to come at you with different right. angles. I would stay afloat with a rocky Yes, <laughs> that's it. The K is for keys. Before mm -hmm. we uh, close out this Derek interview, please give some of the listeners a few of your keys to success. Consistency. Consistency. That's number one, consistency. Because a lot of times uh, it, it may seem as, as though uh, things are not working out, it's not going good for me, and I just, I'm going to just put it on hold for a little while. Consistency. Just stand in there, just keep on it day in and day out, getting up and putting in a little work on your dream will take you a long way. You know, that's the main thing I would say, consistency. Um, staying positive positive uh, attitudes, even though sometimes you don't feel like smiling, sometimes you don't feel like getting up and doing what you need to do to stay positive, a positive attitude to take you a long way. Um, okay. And always looking out for other people and help them out. The more people you help, the further you'll go and the, the bigger your circle will grow. So okay, those okay. are my keys. To this is Derek Hayes and with Shanae. She writes the books and she writes the plays. Before we close out, is there anything you'd like to add that we may have forgot, overlooked? Well, uh, just basically I want you guys to come to the Liberty Theater on November the 16th and 17th. I'll be putting my play on Make a Joyful Noise. I'll also be directing the Black Nativity, uh, which will be the a rendition of the Langston Hughes version, and it'll be here. Uh, I think the dates are December the 6th through the, through the 9th uh, is the kickoff. So. I'm inviting everyone to come out to the Liberty Theater in Columbus, Georgia, 821 8th Avenue. Come here and just before then, just come here and check out this season, see what they have going on here. If 
but make sure that you're here on November the 16th and 17th for Make a Joyful Noise because it's going to be good. Okay, she said 11, 16, 11, 17. That's right. No, uh, November to remember. <laughs> make a joyful noise by buying your ticket and supporting Miss Shanae. Right, it's, it's a holiday, book, a holiday show. Right and we thank you for this exclusive. Thank you so Derek much. Derek interview. Where we promote you and everything you're trying to do.